welcome, welcome back, back everybody. everybody. So this weekend, we decided to finally tackle that condensation issue. We had the funds to finally get the supplies we needed. So we started by putting up a frame using two by fours. We used the leftover um, tar paper felt wrap that we had. We, it wasn't enough to cover the full length of the container. We just have a small section that was missing, but it's a second layer of precaution. And then we added the OSB. Um, and then we're going to add the house wrap. So you'll see that in this video. And then we'll update you next weekend as to how much it actually helped. Yeah. Welcome back everyone. So it is Saturday. Uh, we got three to four inches of snow over um, the course of th Thursday night into Friday night. But we are taking care of that condensation issue. We got the plywood and the two by fours we needed to make the frame. So now we are out here framing. We got a late start. It's about four o'clock. We've been working on it for about an hour. It is freezing out here. It's like 23 degrees. Um, so I'll show you guys once we have a little bit more done. So yeah, finally getting rid of the condensation. All right, so we're back out here. It's Sunday morning. We didn't really get much more accomplished last night. Um, we woke up this morning, it was five degrees. It's warmed up nicely to about 15. So we have most of the framing done. We just have two pieces we need to put up. Then we're gonna put the felt paper on. Um, the plywood and then the house wrap. So I'll show you guys once we have the last two pieces up and we start on the felt paper Pretty good though. Excuse the mess. We pulled everything away from The house we've been storing kind of the extra wood and stuff We've been using for siding and then with the huge windstorm we had our water tank blew way up here and we are trying to burn some of our scraps <laughs> Not really working Need to add a little bit more gasoline, I think. But I'll show you guys once we have a little bit more done. Okay, so we finished framing and we have the first layer of defense up. So we're using the leftover tar paper, felt paper, to kind of add a second layer of defense against the cold air. Next, we'll go to the plywood or OSB. And then following that will be house wrap. So I'll show you guys once we have some of the OSB up. Well, we have the first three OSB panels up. We bought an extra one to cut into the spare lengths because this is actually nine and a half feet tall and these are eight foot sections. So we will use a foot and a half to cover all the bottom all the way down. But this is how far we've made it. I'll show you guys once we have a couple more up. And then the last layer is the house wrap over the top of this. And this should help solve the condensation issue. We also need to finish the bird blocks, which will stop the cold air from going up there and creating condensation in the ceiling. But that wasn't as bad as the stuff on the wall. So we're not as worried about that. I'll show you guys once we have a little bit more done. So we came inside to warm up a little bit and we realized there are people parasailing today. I don't know if you can see them, but they're those little dots on top of the mountain. I'll zoom back out so you can see. Crazy. It is 24 degrees out and there are people parasailing. The top of the mountain up there is over 8,500 feet. So it must be like 10 up there but you can barely see them. All right, we're gonna go back out and do more work. All right, so we're back out here. Sorry I'm shouting, the generator's on to run the pellet stove. Um, we, after our short break inside, I wanna make sure we warmed up so that we were thinking clearly. Uh, we had to cut the doorway out of the plywood. And sometimes that can be a little tricky, so I just wanna make sure we had good cuts. We have two panels to go. We ran out of the felt paper right here. Um, we're just gonna deal with it. Um, but we'll put the last two panels up and then we'll start cutting the links for the bottom and put the house wrap up and this project will be wrapped up. Show you guys once we have a little bit more done. Walked over here. It feels pretty good. Somebody just zoomed by in their ATV. I think it's like 32 out now. It's warming up nicely. Our cistern always 
absorbs a lot of radiant heat and solar energy, so it's good. Um, I don't think it's frozen more than like an inch at all. Um, so that was a really good buy for this climate. But we have the whole house covered in the OSB. And we have started outlining the cuts for the piece that we need to go along the bottom. We have the first one cut. The batteries have died. Probably can't hear me because the generator's going, but we're gonna charge up the batteries and come back out and finish this up. But it is a beautiful day. Okay, so we have the final row of OSB down. Now we are going to start the house wrap and this project will be done. So I'll show you guys that once it's up. There it is. We have all the layers up. So hopefully this takes care of the condensation. We're 99% sure it will. It got dark again. It's about four o'clock. So we'll see you guys next weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. 